All right, Henry, what should be the topic of my Question Tuesday video? Pokemon! Alice, what should my Question Tuesday video be about? Monkey turtles! Monkey turtles? Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. It's Question Tuesday, the day that I answer real questions from real nerd fighters about Pokemons and monkey turtles. Oh, and look, it's a reunion video! We're all here together in the desert. I don't know what monkey turtles are. I also didn't know what a monkey turtle was, so I asked Alice, and she said, it's a monkey that turns into a turtle. Right. Yeah. Right. For why? Oh, I asked her that, and she said, for protection. Then I asked Alice how big monkey turtles were, and she said 100 big. It's big, actually. Well, or not. Ah, it's true. It depends on if it's millimeters. You need to learn units. Talking to Alice is like talking to a not very good AI. <laughs> She's like a bad chatbot. Yeah. She said to me, Uncle Hank, I got this new water bottle. And I said, is it better than your old water bottle? And she said, it's pink, the other's purple. Like, it's like, I asked you a question, you answered a different question, but right. you kind of were on the same topic. She's also like a chatbot in that a lot of times if you ask her a question, she'll say, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon and why is it Charizard? It's not Charizard, it's Snorlax. Because he's cute and large and powerful. Mine is Andrew. Andrew? Yeah, have you, have you seen the Andrew Pokemon? Is he a monkey turtle? No, he's just a guy, plays guitar. What Pokemon could best keep a steady job? Oh, probably Andrew. <laughs> Put it in your head, Charizard managing like a Wendy's. And if the, like, the grill breaks, he's just on all the burgers. Oh my god, he can cook the burgers. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. What is the most underrated Pokemon? Oh, I think the most underrated Pokemon is Surfing Pikachu. I'm gonna go with like the, the Wiggle Puffed. Jigglypuff? Or uh, Spike Ladder. Spike Ladder. That's a real one. Is it? You ask Henry what he wants to be when he grows up, he says, inventor, and then he pauses and says, of Pokemon. <laughs> John. Yes. How can I be the very best, like no one ever was? <laughs> Come on! If you had to permanently dye your hair a non-natural color, what would it be? Uh, silver? Ooh, well you're getting there already. I know, I'm on my way! <laughs> when I was in college, I thought to myself, I want to have a job where when I turn 40, I can get a mohawk. Mm-hmm. And now I do! Hey, welcome to Crash Course Biochemistry. It's me, your cool teacher, Hank, with the 40-year-old mohawk. <laughs> Doesn't all value derive from humans? Hmm. No. I just want to say for the record, Hank is not taller than I am, it's just that he is standing on a rock. <laughs> I was downhill. Hank, what is your favorite adjective to throw in when you want to spice up a sentence? Spicy. I don't like that at all. What do you think of that three-point shot, Hank? Spicy. spicy! I don't want to be, like, my friends will all be like, yeah, Hank, the one who says spicy all the time. Oh yeah, Hank, spicy green, they call him. Oh shoot. Who would win in a fight between a monkey turtle and a turtle monkey? Oh, definitely a monkey turtle, because it could turn into a turtle for protection. What is your favorite type of plate? Oh, uh, for me, it's the, um, the kind that the Earth's crust is on. Ooh. I mean, those are good. Sometimes you're at a really fancy restaurant and mm -hmm. there's a plate on the table before the food comes out and then they take that plate away. Yes. And I'm like, what was that? Right. Why was that plate there? Yeah, just in case. Explain it to me! It's a just in case plate. Would you rather have C-3PO in your house or R2-D2? R2-D2? Because yeah. like, I, like, whenever I hang out with you, I kind of feel like I do have C-3PO in my house. That's true. Hank, what Pokemon do you think looks the most like you? <laughs> I don't know either, but I'm excited to find Mi out from like, our viewers. Isn't Mr. Mime the only one that walks on two feet? Uh, um, I mean... Or like, is vaguely human-shaped? I don't know of a greater insult than saying <laughs> that someone looks like Mr. Mime. <laughs> We're gonna go keep walking, so goodbye, friends. Bye, I'll see you now. You wanna see our, uh, our incredibly sophisticated tripod, by the way? It's Hank's wallet and two rocks. Doo-doop!